Hi guys welcome back to another tutorial. In this video I will be showing you how to make something like this. Let's get started. Firstly, create a new project with a clip of your player and the audio. For this type of animation you will need four clips of the same player. First of all, go to Format and make it 916 if you are making a YouTube short or a TikTok. And then cut your first clip so that the whole clip is just the player. Then press the plus and add a black stock video. Make the black as long as the audio should look like this. Next, resize the clip so that it covers the whole screen. Next, go to the part of the audio that you want your first overlay to come in. Then press it overlay and add your second clip. Cut it at the start so that the player is in view. And then you can pull it to the right spot. For this part you need to move and resize the overlay so it only covers half the screen. If you need help doing this just follow what I am doing. Crop the video so it covers half the screen. After that is done. Cut the overlay when the beat drops and delete the excess clip. Once again go to add overlay and add another clip of the player. And do the exact same with what you did with the last clip. So you have crop it to half the size. Move it to the other side from the first overlay. Like this. Once you have done that, click on either of the overlays and press animation in and then scroll across to slide down. Add the same animation to the other one. Then change the animation length from 0.5 to 0.3 on both of them. And for the third time, press an overlay and add your fourth clip.
For the next part I will show you how to add the circle like this. First of all cut the clip to the right length and move it to where you want the circle to come in. And then scroll across the bottom until you find the mask option and click the circle option. Make sure it's a full circle and put it in the middle of the two clips. And you can resize it to how you like it. And also cut it where the beat drops. Press the animation button and click in. And zoom to is the one you want to use. From the point you choose, add a keyframe. And then go to the end of the overlay and make the circle bigger you don't need to. Add another keyframe as it will do it for you. After that is done, copy that exact overlay and shorten it to 0.1 seconds. Then make the clip as long as you want it then clip the first 0.1 seconds off like me. After the get rid of everything on that clip, like the animations, keyframes, and the circle, mask by following what I do. Now that's done you need to cut the black image where all the overlay stops and make the overlay a main track by clicking the main track button. Zoom in with the clip and you have to move the video so it aligns with what the circle was like. If you don't understand follow what I am doing. Now let's add an animation. Supposedly I would choose rock vertically. Add a white stock video. Make it the full screen and press splice then overlay. Make it about 0.6. Go on to animations then out and press the fade out one and make it the duration of the overlay. If you want to also add an animation at the end of the clip then cut the video halfway and add an out animation to the second part. And there you go. But if you want the 4000 quality, 
Then follow what I do after this. By the way, I hope you have found this helpful so far. Cause I made this whilst on holiday. Pull these bars across at the top and export it. If you are finding this helpful, please like and subscribe. For the next part, I will be showing you how to get for thousand quality. Now let's go over to the A Light Motion app. Follow what I do. Add these adjustments. Add the video you just made. Resize it away from the watermark. Duplicate it. Add effects. Make the strength 230. Do the same again but this. Time add the exposure and gamma effect. Make exposure minus 80. Go down to difference then. Press subtract. Click on the duplicated clip and make the volume zero. Next add a white square and make it the whole screen. Make the square cover the whole screen. Then go to blending and opacity click contrast. The overlay. Make the white screen as long as the video. Now export it. Click no thanks I like the watermark. After this is done go back to CapCut for the final part of this video. Once back in a new project and you have added your video. Make the format 916 and resize the video so that you can't see the watermark. Pull these bars across at the top again. Delete the CapCut ending. And you are done. Now, all you need to do is export it. If you have found this helpful, please like and subscribe as these tutorials take longer than any other videos I make.